is doing some backyard cooking. Doing this outdoor, and this is one of the times that you can get friends and family close to one another, bringing back that vibe. Backyard grilling cooking is depending where you guys want it to be. I'm Chef Mashat Pino, and this is the Backyard Grill Show. I'm going to share with you three amazing and simple recipes. But before I do that, if you're doing any grilling, try to do it outdoors behind your backyard or even by a poolside. Why I say this is because even though these recipes are easy and simple to do, we definitely have time to kill. So you can jump even into the pool or if you're by a nature resort, you can go jungle tracking. So straight away, I'm going to jump into three of our dishes we're going to do. We're going to have chicken and pumpkin. Yes, this sounds a little bit crazy, a little bit unique but trust me, this is going to be a Mexican-inspired dish. Our second dish that we have is going to be a very straightforward English-style dish. It's going to be a tomahawk with char-grilled vegetables. Of course, we're going to give a little bit more tips and a little bit more ideas. Oh my, you can even hear, since we're outdoor, the planes are moving back and forth down here. And coming to our third dish, is going to be a nice seafood dish. We're going to do a fish down there. Barracuda, which is a sea fish dish. And we're going to wrap it in something Asian-inspired can you guys guess at home? Something Indian maybe? If you guess banana leaf, then definitely right on. Simple, simple dishes. Going to take a little bit longer for some, a little bit faster for some. So I'm going to jump into straight away, which is going to be chicken and pumpkin. So we're going to start off with actually just piercing the top and going through about 45 degrees. So here we have the pumpkin top. Very simple. We're just going to slice off all that seed. We're just going to go into the pumpkin with a spoon. As you can see, definitely if you're going to do this with some friends or family, yeah, we're going to scoop it out. Yeah, we're going to scoop all of that out. Beautiful. So for this dish, what I've chosen is chicken bone in. If you're a little bit more on the health conscious, you can actually do just chicken breast, it's up to you. And we're going to marinate this chicken. We're going to have some orange. Uh, we have some brown sugar. So we're going to add in about a teaspoon of brown sugar. What we're going to do, this is going to actually caramelize the chicken and give it a little bit more in-depth, more last flavor. We have some strips of fresh thyme we're going to add in. Just like that. We're going to add in some lemon juice. And this just gives that beautiful acidity onto the chicken. This dish has a lot, a lot, a lot of flavor profile that I'm trying to build on this. And we're going to have some crushed garlic. Let me get maybe about two to three garlics. And then we're going to add in some uh, salt and definitely a bit more flavor, some black pepper. So this is the basic ingredients we're going to add in. We're just trying to give it a bit of a toss. Just beautiful. Straight on to the grill, the chicken. Make sure it's on the hottest part of your grill. So it's depending how you guys want to cook off this chicken, either it's breast or bone in. So like I said, we have orange. We're going to get actually some orange fillet. Very simple. We're going to cut this into quarters. We're going to scoop out our orange fillet. We're going to slightly chop that coarse. We don't want anything finesse because with this dish, it's actually for a really good bunch of friends between four to six people, depending how many people you have at your function. And then we're going to have a little bit more herbs in there. And just check onto our chicken. 
Nice, nice flavor. So we have our mixture here. I'm gonna add a little bit more flavor. Some orange juice. I'm gonna give this a good mix. There you go, you see all these colors vibrant. All the items straight away into our pumpkin. And now, closing the top. So we're gonna wrap this in aluminum. What do you guys think? So far so good? It's an easy one, right? And straight away, with our pumpkin, directly onto our char. We're gonna close the top. And this has to go onto the grill for at least one hour. Hi guys, so it's been about an hour. Of course, if you're doing this backyard at your home, you've been jumping into the pool or you've been taking at least a jungle track into the nature. So let's check out on our pumpkin, which has been cooking directly onto the grill. Amazing, amazing flavor profile we're gonna have. Make sure you're just using a cloth. And there you go. So with the knife, we're gonna pierce into the pumpkin. You see how soft that is, how easy that is. Definitely our dish is ready. So I'm gonna peel off. Slowly, slowly do this, because there's a lot of steam coming out. You might hurt yourself by burning yourself. Try and see how does this look. Oh, wow. And if you can smell that beautiful, beautiful combination of flavors right in this pumpkin, we're just gonna discard all of our aluminum sheet. As you can see, it's so easy to cut through. And we're just gonna see how this goes. Oh man. And if I take this chunk out, you're just gonna get all that beautiful, beautiful flavors, that juice, that combination. So guys, this is the first dish of the day, chicken and pumpkin. I hope you guys liked it. Welcome back to the Backyard Grill Show and I'm Chef Mashat Pino. So the first dish is actually done. We have the chicken stuffed in pumpkin cooked on the grill. Beautiful, beautiful flavor profile. Now for the second dish, this is going to get me so excited. We actually have a nice, beautiful tomahawk steak. Check this baby out. So with this tomahawk steak, we're just going to do simple flavor profile on this. We're going to get some Dijon mustard. So I really recommend Dijon mustard. It has a bit more intensity on it. We're going to get a couple of tablespoons spoons into this bowl just like that and then we're gonna increase a bit more flavor profile but not too much we're just gonna add some paprika grab a couple of those of that and this is gonna be our basic marinade for our tomahawk give it a good mix if you want, we're gonna add actually a bit more fresh herbs. Let's get some time since I have this a beautiful flavor. Yeah, you can go smell this freshness. We're just gonna marinate this. Make sure we cover every single part of this. And as you can see, there's a beautiful fat there. I don't wanna miss that out. Just gonna go a little bit more on that. Next, of course, with any dish, we're going to add in definitely basic seasoning, some salt and pepper. There we go, salt, got pepper. Now straight away onto the grill. There we go. And you can hear that nice sizzling sound, you're right on the hottest spot of your grill. So while that's going on, we have a few more items we've got to finish off. We're going to do some roasted garlic. So very simple dish that we're going to combine together. Just going to snap off the top here. We're going to get that ready. Make sure the whole thing is actually exposed because later on, we're just going to squeeze out these little garlic pearls. And we have one more item that we're going to get ready, which is our potato. So these two items, very simple, with the aluminum foil. 
So we're going to serve our tomahawk steak with roasted garlic. Just going to wrap that in. And with our potato, we're going to roast this and then we're going to saute this together with our baby carrots and yellow onion. So making sure our potato is nicely cooked and soft. So with these two items, we're going to put it straight away. Just chuck it in. No brainer. And we're going to leave that on for a couple more minutes. Tomahawk steak now. Let's check it out. Wow. I've, I've been turning this around every couple of minutes and the best way to test this baby on its doneness. I'm going to share with you guys a trick. So how do you going to do the field test, right? You're going to put this finger and this finger. That's raw. This finger and this finger, you got about medium rare. This finger to this finger, you got about a medium well. And this finger to this finger, when you press this area, that's your doneness for well done. So we want to achieve somewhere just there, that softness, and that's what I'm feeling right now. So I'm going to take this out straight onto my chopping board and let this rest a little bit. So it's really important to get all your meats rested after you cook. And while that's going on, let's check out what has happened to our beautiful roasted garlic that we have. Check that out. That's what we're looking for. A nice darkness, char flavor. You get that bitter feel with our tamahawk steak. It's going to be really amazing. So next, let's check out our potato. And once again, very simple. How are you going to know if your potato is cooked or not? You're just going to pierce it in. Check that out, right? We're going to cut that into wedges and we're going to saute it off with some yellow onion and some baby carrots. So we're going to get, let's check out some yellow onion here. Very simple. We're going to cut the top and bottom. We're just going to peel this off onto the skin. So with this, like I said, it's going to be simplicity. We're just going to cut this into chunks. There you go. And straight away, we're going to chuck in all of these items. Then our yellow onion. Then we got our baby carrots. And lastly, this is the potato wedges. Just going to get that down there. So we're going to leave this like that a couple of minutes. And let's check out on our tomahawk steak. We're just going to cut off from the bone. Just going to put it down there. And let's see. Let's slice this baby down. Going to get all of that fat. Don't be shy, guys. This is a beautiful piece of meat. So we're going to go a little bit more. Check that out. Beautiful medium rare. Let's slice this a bit more. And of course, with any meat, we're going to have a sauce. So I've done a demi-glaze sauce. Very simple. If you're at home, a little bit of a shortcut, some white onions, some red onions, some demi glass powder, some water, and we're just going to mix it together. For this, we're just going to heat it up to serve. So just check it out. Put that there. So let's get some of our beef here. Check that out, guys. Check that out. This is such a beautiful piece of meat. Beautifully cooked. We're going to rest it up. And let's say if your friends and family can't take a medium rare, don't worry. You can definitely take this piece of meat and continue grilling on there until it gets to your perfect doneness. Just gonna get our roasted garlic on the side. And then we're gonna have our vegetables. This is a no brainer dish. Oh, there you go. Gonna get one more potato. And with all the rest of the items, just going to get it straight onto that beautiful piece of meat. A little bit of sauce and not to overcomplicate this dish. Since this is a tomahawk, we want that beauty, feel and flavour of the meat dish. 
Next up, a little bit more herbs. And there, there you go. We have our tomahawk steak with char-grilled root vegetables, guys. And I'm Chef Mashad. We've done the first dish, we've done our second dish, which is the tomahawk. Now we're moving on to our third dish, which is a wild caught sea bass we're gonna have. And we're just gonna do a simple marinade. We're gonna have some basic ingredients. We're gonna have some garlic, some lemon, and definitely some ginger. A little bit Asian feel to this. Uh, with this, we're gonna straight away into a bowl. We're gonna grate the whole ginger. Even with skin on, uh, we have some lemon. And I'm not gonna get the lemon juice too much on this. I just want a really good acidity on the juice flavor. So with a knife, slowly just go in. Then we're gonna do a bit of garlic. And I'm not gonna go too fancy on it. We're just gonna do a rough chop on the garlic. Nothing too fancy and straight away into there. We also want some nice fresh herbs. So I'm thinking about thyme. So let me just grab a good bunch of this straight up. And we're gonna add in some basil as well. Nothing too fancy. I love basil. Oh, you can smell this. I'm gonna get that in there. <coughs> and a little bit of fish sauce. There we go. And a bit of oil. Just get all that flavor combination together. We're also gonna season definitely salt and pepper. Let's never, never forget our basic seasoning, which is salt and pepper. Lemon juice, basil. Can you imagine the flavors that are going to go into this fish? So like I said, this is gonna be a bit more Asian, Indian inspired dish. And we're gonna use a banana leaf. But before that, I have a trick just to share with you guys. Before we're gonna go onto the banana leaf, we wanna have a sheet of aluminum. So this actually helps us keep all the flavor inside instead of maybe pricking our banana leaf and getting all the juice just flowing into the grill. So that's quite a bit of waste. Just right on. So what I'm gonna do next, we're gonna get the fish. I'm gonna actually get some flavor onto the skin first. Not too much, because I really want to put all these different juices on the other side of the fish. You know, spread it across. There we go. Simple, simple dish for you guys to try at home. So now, with the banana leaf, I'm just gonna wrap one, two, three, four. And the aluminum foil, as you can see, it really helps us to wrap all that flavor inside without all the juice coming out. Easy. So another tip that I can share with you guys at home, if you want to pre-do this, one hour before, go ahead. It saves a lot of time. Keep this in the refrigerator, take it out to your cool box and bring it wherever you guys are going to go for your grill. So very simple, we're just going to chuck it on the grill. We're going to leave this for at least about 20 minutes, give it a good close, and let's see what happens shortly. So it's been a couple of more minutes and we're gonna check on our fish right now. I think we're about done. With a fish dish, it's very, very crucial to not overdo it. It's about 15 to 20 minutes. I suggest you, I think we're about done with that. Wow, such a punch into your nostrils there. And you can see all the juices are still intact. And I'm not going to waste all of that. I'm just going to get into a plate. We're going to do this very straightforward. And right there, we're going to pull off. We're going to pull off our banana leaf from our aluminum foil. Just like that. Oh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. 
You see all that juice? That's what we're looking for with this dish. And I'm going to finish this off with a little bit of paprika, just a dash to give it that little bit color vibrant. And there you go. done all three menus. We have the chicken and pumpkin, we have the tomahawk steak with char grilled vegetables, and we have our fish, barracuda or even a sea bus. If you have any imagination, guys, please, this is up to you. I'm just showing you what can be done. This is the Backyard Grill Show. I'm Masha Tino. Thank you so much. And with that, I'm going to say all these dishes are mamma mia!